What is going on guys, it's your boy Death Gun with another Monster Hunter World video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick breakdown of how to get the Divine Slasher. This is one of the best looking weapons in the game and let's not even talk about damage because it's getting a lot of hype right now. So without further ado, let's get right on to it. Keep in mind the Supremacy Blade, which later turns into the Divine Slasher, does not start from the ore or bone tree. You're going to have to get some exclusive materials from a different part of the game. For that, let's check out this smithy to see which materials we're going to have to get. Alright, to start off the process, you're going to have to forge a brand new longsword, guys. This is called the Supremacy Blade and it's going to be your last option. Let's check out what materials we need to actually craft it. We need 5 Hunter King coins, 4 Rathalos coins, 4 Gamma coins, and 1 Nova Crystal. This is a pretty decent price and these materials are not hard to get. Alright now let's go a step further and look at the Divine Slasher. You're going to need 5 Ace Hunter coins, 4 Brute coins, 4 Flying coins, and 2 Wavering gems. This is a little bit steeper when it comes to your actual price, but the sword that you're going to get is top of the line and definitely worth it guys. So now that I've showed you what you need to get these weapons, let's look at how we're actually going to go about getting them. First off, you're going to have to come to the gathering hub and talk to the arena manager. Once you've done this, there's multiple missions that you're going to be able to do to get arena coins, but the ones to get the supremacy blade are very specific. To get the supremacy blade, you're going to have to do missions from 4 stars to 7 stars. These are the only ones that are going to drop the Rathalos coins, the Gamma coins, and the Hunter King coins, guys. Keep this in mind when you're out there farming for your supremacy blade. You don't need to do any of the other arena quests. In my personal advice, try out the Dodo Gamma quest, it's pretty much the easiest. If you got a buddy, you can get it done in about 5-6 minutes and overall will yield you what you need to make your supremacy blade. Now, this quest is fairly simple and there's some things to point out if you had never done arena. You do not get your weapons, you do not get your armor, you do not get your items. Everything is randomized with preset loadouts that will allow you to play well in a specific way guys. Now things get a little more interesting. Here you can see that we got it done in 5 minutes. Now with that being said, there are different ranks which might determine how many rewards you get, but nonetheless you will still get rewards for completing this mission and as you can see we got the coins we were looking for. Here we can see we got the Hunter King coin and this is pretty much the easiest mission to do. Now let's look at what you need for the Divine Slasher and for that you're going to have to clear the Arena Quest 8 and 9. These are the two quests which are going to give you the materials you need, the Ace Hunter coin. Now I personally think that both of these quests are a pain in the butt guys. Having to go against these two roly polies in this small place is a pain. But having to face off the two Diablos is also a pain especially with randomized weapons. So. Do which one you like the best, which one you think you know you have an easier time with, and either one will give you the Ace Hunter coins and some really good coins and materials you're going to need. Brute coins and other things like that. So, now that we know where we get the coins, let's see what we get from this actual haul. Now, we got it done in 10 minutes, you guys will probably get it done a lot faster. You get Brute coins and as I told you, the Ace Hunter coin, guys. This and the Diablos are the only methods to get these coins and that's pretty much it for this video guys. Now you know where to get this amazing blade which missions give you the drops you need. So if it helped you out make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more Monster Hunter World content. Let your friends know about the channel and that's about it guys. I hope you've enjoyed it and your boy Death Gun out.